So this one is definitely gonna be some light exploration because I definitely want to go discover this because that's all that's left. If you look at the map, that's all that's left is just those two eyeballs uh, for this entire place. And who knows, maybe we'll go check this place out. I've never actually seen this place and I want to check it out real fast. So I might actually do that and then go straight to the house, check it out real quick. And then we'll go do the heist or whatever it is that uh, Captain Colleen wants. Should be pretty cool and fun. Well, it says right there, it says, uh, for the mission, the Spearhead's crew enter Colleen's hideout after you finish recruiting. We already finished recruiting. Oh, there's... Is this where I got out? It is, isn't it? Oh, it is. That's pretty cool. But I'm not going to be doing that right now because, of course, I got an objective to get to. Uh-oh. Run! I feel bad. I kind of just left, uh... Miri out there to handle the business by herself. <laughs> oh, well. Let's see here. So this is, this is it, right? I bet this place is full of interesting history. I should try looking it up later. Maybe. Let's just. You guys could read that. Push pause if you guys want to read that. So is this just? This is nothing then, huh? Okay. Well, now that I know that that's the case, let's go ahead and. Go straight to the next location, which is pretty much straight across the map. And I'm probably going to fast travel to this way shrine afterwards. Maybe it's 60 gold. I only have, well, I have a thousand. So I have a thousand nine ninety five. So I should be fine in fast traveling back and still have over 1k. Oh, he's got a camel. That's pretty cool. If I cre if I create a uh, a red guard, I'm probably gonna give him a, a camel. Oh no! It's gotta be flawless. Uh oh. Got it. Excellent. Belt of stamina. Uh. It's medium. But I hear that it's better to have... Yeah, I'm gonna put it on because that way I'll be leveling up medium too. Do I have any light armor? I hear that that's the smart thing to do. We'll go with head and belt. So light, medium, heavy, 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 heavy. Yeah, that way... That way I get, um, I'm able to level up multiple skills, you know? Is this the right way? I hope so. Okay. It should be. We're golden. Dude, this game is so much fun. Like, it does feel like an Elder Scrolls game, although simultaneously managing to feel exactly opposite of an Elder Scrolls game. And I think ultimately it has to do with the whole uh, single player versus online aspect. Oh no, I broke one. Because if you play this solo, it still kind of does feel like a, like a single player game. That's medium. Geronimo! Oh god, that's gonna hurt. Oh, that, that definitely hurt. I'm not sure if it's... I'm gonna go up. Because if it's not down... Or if it's, if it's on the bottom, it'll be easier to go back up. Oh god. It'll be easier uh, to go to a lower location if you're already high. But if you're on the low part but the location's up high... 
You have to go all the way around just to go upstairs, you know? Actually, I think this might be the... I think this might be it. Run! Leave me alone! Oh, I'm not even here. So, it's gotta be this way. I heard a snake. Snakes are pretty cool creatures, man. I'm not gonna lie. I'm from Arizona, so... There's snakes everywhere <laughs> over here. Rattlers at that, man. They're, they typically just keep to themselves. They're like more terrified of you than they are than you of them. Unless you have nightmares of them. Hey. So what is this one? Port Hundling? That might be a part of just completing the main quest. So, let's check this place out first before anything. Dude, we're definitely inside someone. Someone that has like uh, Daenerys Targaryen's hair. Ooh, this would be perfect for a red guard house. How much is it? A lot of gold. Let's check it out. Furnished. Did anything... Did anything at all change? Okay, that's not... That's not... I mean, that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. I do want to look inside, though. We've got some stables right here, it looks like. Um... Hmm... Found the entrance, little courtyard. That should be pretty cool. Nice little fire pit slash bar area over here. I like this house, it's cozy. Got a nice little queen size bed it looks like. That's back out to the courtyard. Another bed. Partial courtyard. Okay, yeah, this is a nice little house. It'll be perfect for a, for a red guard. Hold on, is this? I think this is the exit. It was. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. Leave home. Does it teleport me back to where I was standing? Because if... Okay, thankfully. Dude, that is one red Khajiit. It's, it's kind of scary, actually. It's probably a sorcerer. Okay. Let's go talk to Captain Colleen at her hideout. Maybe... It'll be time to... Conduct ourselves in an aggressive manner. A.K.A time to destroy or to 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 do this heist cuz we definitely got everybody Oh hello You're back. Found anyone else to help us with the heist? Yeah, we're moving along just fine. Ha, I knew you'd get it done. Who needs the old crew? Those traitors always got you helping us. Well, thank you. I got 135 gold for that. Oh, hello. We've got a crew to rival the legends. Time to make some money. Don't you agree? Yeah, of course, man. What now? Now we're ready for the real challenge. The heist. The target's Bosek. That slimy bastard's finally going to get what's coming to him. We're going to steal his sailing logs. So his sailing logs, really? His sailing logs are the key to our fortune, friend. They're the records of every ship that's docked here, every stolen cargo they've unloaded, and every illicit payment made to Bosek. Dude, she looks so cool. She kind of has that, like that pirate 
If I make a red card, it's definitely going to be a pirate, I think. Uh, so how does that make us rich? Those records are worth a fortune to King Baharajad. They're written proof that Bosek has violated the King's order to stop raiding Breton shipping. With those papers in hand, the King can threaten to destroy Bosek if he doesn't stop. I, I can see the logic there. The King's agreed to pay for them? Absolutely. His envoy is on the dock now, waiting. As soon as we turn over the sailing logs, he gives us a fortune in gold. The trick will be getting into Bosek's palace, stealing the logs, and getting out with them. That's your job. How do I do it? <clears throat> First, you need a servant's disguise to get into the palace. The papers are in a lockbox on the top floor. Bosek has the only key. Slip this powder into his drink, then grab the key. Okay, and then? The lockbox is always guarded. The guard's not bright, but he'll raise the alarm if anyone tries to open the box. Deal with him quietly. No stabbing. Lambor and I will have the ship ready to sail when you return with the papers. Okay, then. I'll be back soon. Hey, Naramo. Oh, yes. Hello. This is fascinating. Did you know the Dwemer had devices to rapidly mince fruit? I didn't know that. But can you help me get to Bozek, uh, Bozek's lockbox? I can offer help with the guard, perhaps. You wish to deal with him quietly, correct? Yeah, of course. What's your idea? I removed this device from Clanker. When pressed, it produces quite the incapacitating shock. If you would test it for me, preferably on a living subject, I would be grateful. Yeah, sure, I'll take it, thanks. Let me know if there are any lingering effects. Twitching, maybe. <laughs> I'm quite curious about the twitching. At this point, so am I. Waiting rots my limbs and wearies my mind. Who's talking? Oh, hey Jakarn, long time no see. Wonderful day for a sailing trip, isn't it, friend? Especially if it gets me off this rock before Bosek chops off my head. Uh, can you help me get, uh, Bosek's lockbox? Bosek keeps the key around his neck, cinched steel. I'll get the key off Bosek. Meet me out back. Sounds great. Get your disguise and meet me out back. Leave Bosek to me. What about Crafty Larissa? Mm, quite the motley crew, aren't we? Motley crew? Old school band. Uh, what did you think of, uh, Captain Colleen's plan? She's right. You need to disguise to get anywhere near Bosek. Fortunately, you have me. Just say the word and I can have servant clothes waiting for you at the palace. Thanks, I would love your help. My pleasure. Meet me outside the palace. I'll pick out something special for you. Thank you. Okay, so it looks like I have three specific avenues of approach for this. Which I think is fantastic, to be honest. The fact that there's multiple ways to complete this. It's not that far, actually. It's on the other side of the bridge, it seems. So, obtain a servant's disguise. <clears throat> okay. This should be interesting for sure. Did that lady just say that she wants to eat a rat? It's pretty gross, actually. So this is the grand heist here. Meet Larissa and get a disguise. Oh, I found her. Hi. Well, look who's come to pay a visit. This is not your look, Larissa. Did you find a disguise for me? Oh yes, try these on. I'm sure they'll fit you just right. In the meantime, I'll just continue my sweep of the palace. Well, thank you. Servant's robes. Nice. Look, Larissa, we're matching. I don't have a broom, though. Oh, wait a minute. No, I think I needed all three for this heist. Who's this? Hold, hold ya. Once his bones, what is it now? Uh, have you seen Hedman Bosick? Shouted at you too, did he? He just went out back to carouse with the latest slatterns from the mainland. Best hurry up and refill his drink. You don't want him running out of drink. 
Okay, good to know. So he's out back. Which I think I think Jacquard said he's out back, right? Like the bustle of cities, but I come from a big family, so it reminds me of home. Whatever you say, Miri. Whatever you say. Is that him? <laughs> uh, just kidding. Oh, it's Edwin Bosick. He's asleep. And Jakarn would be hitting on some chicks, man. Such a sleaze boss, I swear. Oh, servant. You're just in time. Uh, what happened to Bosick? My dear friend Headman Bosek is sleeping off the attentions of these two lovely ladies. They are quite a handful, and an eyeful too. Why don't you take the good headman's key inside for safekeeping? He literally hooked him up with two chicks and got him tired. <laughs> this dude is such a sleaze boy, I swear. I love him, it's freaking awesome. I'll do that. Oh my god, Jakar and I swear. He is probably the more the most interesting character out of the three. Naramo is probably my least favorite. Larissa is a very close second though. But for two different reasons. Books. Use Dwemer device. Oh, this is Naramo's thing. <laughs> Uh, sorry, Mr. Mr. Man guy. Dude got tased. Head to the docks. That's it? That's that's the grand heist? Time out. Nice. Alright, we're good. Let's go. Poor Hundling. As soon as we get out of here, I'm dropping the disguise. And... That'll be it. Let's go. Off to the docks we go. Because I think we got to turn in this information. That way. We're golden. Alright, where are we? We are definitely here. This has got to be the ship. It's a pretty big ship, I'm not going to lie. Captain Colleen. Hi, Captain Colleen. My friend. Hi. Back. Do you have some good news? Uh, I do, as a matter of fact. Here's the shipping logs, Captain. Here you are, Tharwab. The shipping logs that show Bosek's defiance of the king's decrees. She was telling the truth. Come on, it's time to go. She was definitely telling the truth. That's awesome. So what are we doing? Captain Colleen, can you like walk faster, please? On your feet, man your stations. Prepare to sail. Who are you yelling at? There's no one here. Are you are you suggesting I need to do the work for you? I did everything for you. Hi, Naramo. Hey, Jakarn. Hi, Larissa. Finally, home to Is this the day. girlfriend? I've missed my clan. Okay, Captain Colleen. Before we leave for Betnik, talk to the crew. Get familiar with them. It'll be a long trip. Can we actually talk to Limsi? What do you want? You're selling with us, but I thought you hated Jakarn. Of course. I'll pull my weight, unlike Jakan. He's not getting near another woman until I'm too old to stop him. And we also live a very long time. Ah, hi elves. Well, that's gonna be a long... ride with her here. Captain Colleen took her time getting off this damned island. Doesn't surprise me. Orc problems aren't her problems. But we'd be stuck here if not for your help. I won't forget that. What does she mean by orc problems? No, none of that was brought to my attention. Stros Makai is a depressing place. Too many red guards waving their damn swords around. At least on the spearhead, no one wants to kill me except Irian. Shook him around. She's crazy about me. 
If you say so. She kind of hates you, though. Wonderful. Now I've been ordered to follow Naramo on another fool's errand. <laughs> so that's the guy that didn't want to work for him anymore. When active, Duema spiders have an extraordinary capacity for learning. Now I have to stop Andrillium from teaching Clanker to bring him drinks. If you say so, Naramo. So then, who's left? Larissa? There's two people on the opposite side of the ship, though. Fear has no maiden's breath, but at least she doesn't have a giant hole in her side. I'd be happy if we never saw land again. Well, she's definitely a sailor. Is there anybody else that I could talk to? Who are you? To be on the seas once again. She looks evil. This is paradise. Hedman Bosek is a cruel master. If Colleen will have me, I will join the Spearhead's crew. Yeah, uh, sure. Just don't be evil. I can't wait to see Jakan's battle scars. I'm sure he's got them everywhere. I don't think you want to get friends with him, girl. She's going to use you and throw you away. Blades Edge. We're setting sail with the famous Jakarn. Alethian and I have a bet on who's going to bet him first. I think they want to be used. To each his own. Wherever Captain hey, it's a Bosmer. I go. Even on this tub. Can't wait until we get our own ship again. Yeah, this guy definitely seems more Bosmer than than uh than Altimer. You can tell the difference because Bosmer look more rugged, if you will, where Altimer look more. I guess sophisticated, in a sense. Like, that's why they call him High Elf, I guess. Jakarn in action. I hear he's an incredible sailor. Lots of stamina. Uh, okay. So this guy's into Jakarn too. Dude, Jakarn, he gets around, man. That is insane. Dude, almost like half the people on this ship are involved with him, have been involved with him. Or will be involved with him sooner or later. What makes you decide? Uh, what made you decide to join us? Following Jakarn, of course. Oh God. <laughs> Why else would I be along? I'm looking forward to working alongside him, sweating shirtless in the hot sun. <laughs> I understand. Uh, teach his own brother, but I I honestly think you should get yourself a better dude because as much as I like Jakarn, he's kind of a sleazeball, bro. But. I'll leave that, I'll leave that decision up to you. Alright, well, I talked to everyone like you suggested, Captain Colleen. Leave for Betnick, talk to the crew. Get yep. familiar with them. It'll be a long trip. Did that. Ready to leave. Let's set sail. Then we leave for Betnick, an orc island that hasn't yet joined the Covenant. I hope to change that. Lembor is happy to go home. She may try to thank you with ale. My advice, make it to six mugs. You'll have a friend for life. That explains the whole orc problems that she was talking about. Where'd she go? Not sure. Bethnic. So this is it, Orc Island. When my crew turned traitor, I never thought I'd see Bethnic again. Feels good. So what now? Head into town and get a drink. This is home, and we'll be here for a while. Here's your cut of the take from the heist. Good to know. Careful here. These orcs aren't yet part of the Covenant, but I'm working on that. Feel free to check out Stone Tooth Fortress. Maybe you'll meet a nice orc. Uh, why should they join the Covenant? They aren't fools. Proud as the Seamount Clan are, they can't deny the Covenant's strength in numbers. And they'll make a mountain of coins selling weapons to our alliance. That's fair. That makes sense. Hey, level 10, here we come. Dungeon Finder. Go with health again. Oh, I got three. Alright, so we'll go one each. Perfect. That actually worked out for the best. So now that I have three, I'm going to morph this one. Ransack this adds. You also gain minor protection, reducing your damage taken. Or pierce armor. 
also inflicts minor breach, further reducing the enemy's resistance. Making them weaker. This is probably my best bet. Because this, what does this do? Makes me take less damage. This makes them take more damage. I think I'm going to be taking Pierce Armor. Do I got four skill points? Okay, let me see. I'm not going to get any of this yet. Stone Fist. Obsidian Shard. Converts to a magical ability that now heals you or two allies after dealing damage. Deals significantly less damage, but no longer requires charges to cast. So this turns into a spamming thing? Enemies hit are now affected with stagger, causing them to take bonus damage from all attacks. Absolutely. Anything I can use to make people weaker is right up my alley. Um... You know what, I should probably start taking some passives, huh? Increases your stamina by 800. Why didn't I take this before? Okay, world. That's if I want to be sneaky, which I'm not. I'm a tank, so it doesn't really matter, to be honest. Resolve. Uh, increases. Fi Honestly, I should be getting these anyways. Increases your health recovery for 2%. Absolutely. So that's all of it. Hey, look, it's an Argonian. Ooh, this guy looks sick. I like it. He looks really cool. I definitely do Stone Tooth Way Shrine. Definitely want to grab that. Mail received. Keep your weapon sheath, newcomer. Mail received. You can see all the stuff that I've bought from other places. Uh, Battlefield in Cyrodiil. Okay, cool. Good thing you sailed in with Captain Kaleen. Outsiders aren't welcome on Betnik, especially not now. Why not? Bloodthorn cultists attacked the fortress. You're lucky you don't look like them, or you'd have a spear in your belly. Uh, looks like the attack failed. Of course, we slaughtered most. The rest fled. We stole something from the chief, but we'll get it back. We'll mop them up as soon as Chief Tazgo raises the army. You want to know more? Ask Lambour. Okay, I'll go find her. All right, first things first. I got to take this way shrine. Talk to Lambour. Well, where is Lambour? Well. That or lady orc right there absolutely obliterated those two guys. Um, Lamburer. Found you. Hello, Lamburer. This was part of a larger plan. I'm sure of it. Why? The Bloodthorn cult assaulted the fortress. They were repulsed, but they stole a Breton scroll the orcs found here long ago. Chief Tazgol thinks the attack failed, but I'm not so sure. What do you mean? The cultists retreated after the initial assault. They came here to steal that scroll, I'm sure of it. But why? Have they set a trap for us? We must know before the chief decides to attack. Well, how can I help you? <clears throat> Start with Shaman Laganak. She witnessed Bloodthorn rituals in the Carved Hills. She's waiting by the Longhouse south of here. Cultists were also seen at Morselli to the north. And Grimfield, west of here. What can you tell me about Marcelli? It's an alien ruin. Years ago, Breton raiders attacked us. An outnumbered patrol held there for weeks until they were wiped out. Later, our army destroyed the raiders. It's just a ruin, really. I don't know what the Bloodthorn want with it. Interesting. Well, what about Grimfield? That's an ominous name. It's a graveyard. Not ours. Breton. When we conquered the islands hundreds of years ago, War Chief Isgul left it intact out of respect for our enemies. We don't desecrate graves, but the Bloodthorn cult will. Plenty of fresh bodies. Disgusting. Uh, what do you know about the K, uh, car carved? Yeah, the carved hills. It's mostly wilderness. There are alien ruins, but they were looted long ago. 
I don't know what the Bloodthorns want there, but Lagonic might know more. Alright, good to know. So there's the bank. Uh, you guys can read this if you want. Let's go ahead and push pause wherever you guys need. Same thing with this one. And we're good. So this is an enchanting table. Alchemy. Not that I have any of that anyways. Do I have anything in my bank from my other character? We built this bank. I do have a couple things actually. This I need. For Miri. This is probably better for Miri. Than what she has on. Alright, let me see here. No, that's better. Yeah, this is a... Uh, a set that I was using for my... For my, uh... For my other character. He does poison damage and it's pretty cool. He's my, he's my arrow guy. What is this? Woodworking. Can I research every anything? This is something that I learned. Here, I'll do this. That I learned from... Uh, from those videos that I said in my first thing. That it's important... No, wait. Don't include guild stuff. Or uh, bank stuff. Let's see what I get. Hey, I'm level three. Perfect. Okay, if you guys want to read this, go ahead and push pause. Yeah, because I guess it gets it gets really hard to do later on. Ooh, another book. You guys can push pause on that if you guys want to read it. Outfit station. No, that's nothing. Is there any more? There's a bookshelf right here. Clothing. I think we're good, right? Where am I supposed to go? So I have to go exploring, essentially. Yeah, I tried to right in the fire. So where's our first hit point? Wait, there's a clothing station somewhere back here that I should go check out for research and stuff. Okay, it's right over here. So there's also the blacksmith. Research. Sharpened. Oh, actually, it's a good thing I saw that. Uh, put that on. Now let's try that again. Training, that works. That works perfectly, actually. And then everything else we will deconstruct. Alright. Do I get anything special here? Just for iron. Clothing here. Okay, you guys can go ahead and read that. Clothing. Alright, let me see what else I could... Is there another one of the training? It is. Perfect. Then everything else is going away. Oh my god, I have a ton. So, that's a medium anyways. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, there's a ton of stuff. I'm, I might... I mean, I know this is ornate and I can sell it, but money comes in like a dime a dozen. Infused, well-fitted, sturdy, well-fitted. So I could get rid of one of the well-fitted. Let's get rid of this one. Yeah, sure. And everything else I can always disenchant. So I think we're good for now. Let's see how far it is that we have to go. 
We should go to this one first just because it's kind of out of the way. It's that one. Yep. So investigate the cultist in more Sally. <clears throat> Is there a... Now I was looking for a stable so I could train my horse and go faster, but... That didn't work. Because there's none here. Excuse me. Aha. I think we found it. Hold on. Why does it show gray? Also, who just yelled? The at the souls of the dead are restless. Ancient warriors who died in battle against the Bretons now rise. Who calls to them and why? Well, first of all, is there anything I could do to help? You are one of the newcomers. Another of your group, the mage Naramo, went to see what he could uncover. Find him and learn what he has seen. Naramo, you say? Where can I find him? His magic enabled him to pass the spirits undetected. I suspect he looks to reach the inner ruins. Seek him near the doorway, beyond the fields where the dead roam. Alright, I'll go see what, uh, if I can aid him in any, in any way. Be careful. Foul magic taints the air. Perhaps your learning men can shed some light on this dark mystery. You know these runes well. The aliens, wild elves as some call them, has always fascinated me. They are long gone, but their ruins remain on Betnia. From these we glean how they lived and died so many years ago. Is it uh research a strange occupation for an orc? We are not all warriors, and we are far from the savages outsiders assume. Some of us wield a quill as skillfully as others wield war hammers. That, that's fair. I, just just so you know, Aslakah. I probably butchered your name, but I wasn't making that assumption. So, are these bad guys? The answer is yes. Let's go down the line. Perfecto changeo. Is there anyone I can chuck these at? Right there. Haha. Uh, -ha. I just sat on him. You blast away. Those rocks or the flying boulders are actually really cool. Not very strong though, to be honest. Aha! And sit your butt down. Dude, there's a... I want it. There's a crystal upstairs. How do I get to it? We'll talk to Naramo here in a second. But first, I need... That crystal. Ooh, I need this too. Runestone. Nice hole. Thank you. Um, oh, I didn't even have to go around. It was it was always on the bottom. I thought it was up top. Okay, that's fine. So, Naramo. Oh, God. Well, accidentally initiate, initiated combat. Resist another exploration? Be mindful. This one may be a touch more dangerous. Foul necromancy is at work here. So I heard you were here. What's going on? The mysteries of Nern span beyond the Duema. The aliens fascinate me in equal measure. I had to see this place for myself. The more vexing mystery at present, however, lies with these orc spirits. Yeah, I've noticed. But what about these spirits? Even you must have noticed the ghostly figures I did. in the field. This is no ordinary haunting. Something brought them back and binds them here. I suspect the answer is inside the catacombs. What do you mean by even you? Okay, 
Anyways, uh, perhaps we should investigate. Indeed you should. The ruin is sealed magically, but it is a minor challenge. I shall unseal the door for you and await your return. My research is best done in safety. Yeah, plus you're a coward, I remember. I'm ready. Just like old times, isn't it? Sure. I do like to have such a useful tool, uh, ally with me. Tool, you say? A proper application of magic to these stones, and the way is open. Well, good job. That was pretty cool. Talk to Targoth's ghost. Is he right here? He is. Hi, Targoth. You are not one of them. You have not the taint. Help us. Free us from this torment. First of all, who are you and what happened here? What's happening here? I am Targoth, war caller of the Stone Wolves. Cultists have violated my tomb and those of my warriors. The vile priestess Drusilla leads the cult, dragging our spirits back to this realm. How? In life, I wielded a magical war horn. My soldiers obeyed it, hearing its call across all barriers. Drusilla now uses it to call my warriors from beyond the grave, binding them to her will. How can Drusilla be stopped? She is in the lower chambers. Kill her before she can send my soldiers against our descendants. That will free me from her bonds. Then the horn can return my warband to its honored rest. Okay, I'll do that. I'll find her. Hold on, how many quests are here? There's only... There's only two quests in this whole island? That's insane. That's nothing. Uh, this door is sealed by force you cannot overcome. Of course, because why would it? Why would I be able to, right? Okay, so this one doesn't have that force field. Lower chamber. Well, this is where he said that she was at, anyways. Let's go ahead and blast away. What's up, buddy? You want to dance? What about you? Do you want to dance? Nice. Let's go ahead and read these books while we have an opportunity. Hey, medium armor. There was no books on there, but hey, whatever. I'll still read a book that doesn't exist. <clears throat> Come here, buddy. I like that move. I really, really do. And it's easy to use, too. Especially from a distance. Where are you going? I gotta kill everyone here. Sit your ugly butt down. What's up? You want some too? Let's dance. Whoop. She got blasted. Oh no. Someone else is here. Blast away. This is such a cool class. I really like Dragonite. I really do. Okay. So that's everything, right? Warhorn? You have freed me. But my warriors still cry out for an end to their torment. So what did the cultists want with your uh, warband? They're planning. It is to take place there. But that is not my concern. Now that you have the horn, free my warriors. How? Return the horn to its rightful place atop my tomb in the next chamber. Then my warriors will rest once again. Okay. Then you condemn my warriors to further degradation. Surely you have more honor than that. We no longer belong in this realm. Our battle is over. Let us have peace. I was going to read it, but uh, accidentally clicked. Uh, I said, what if I decide to keep the horn? And then he responded with this. But I understand. 
Let's progress. Let me know down in the comment section uh, if you guys know good end gear stuff. Cause uh, once I get to level fifty, I'm already I already have another character at CP one hundred and sixty. So I'm gonna need to start looking for good gear for a tank. Your efforts honor us, champion. I feel the spirits of my warriors return to rest, and so I shall follow. That's good. Be bold, warrior. I won't be bald. Cultists still plague this island. We will meet them again, to their sorrow. Well, thank you. Entry hall. So is this the one that had the, uh, the spell? I think it was. So luckily, we're out of it. Don't know who you are. Hi, Naramo. Okay. Let's get out of here. I'm glad that he considers me a tool, by the way. Rude. Hey! The spirits have vanished. Their valiant souls rest once again. Quickly, tell me what you found below. We have much to discuss. So I released the spirits, but... Uh, Krasog's demise is, uh, the cult's target. Cultists have indeed been spotted at Karzog's demise. Their intent is unknown. I will pray for the honored dead, then return to speak with the chief. I fear all will be needed to end the Bloodthorn plot. Good. And I got another level. Just what I love to see. We'll start off with health, of course. Do I have any... Burning to an enemy? Iron skin? Ooh, yes! That's actually a good one. So that's... That's it, right? Oh yeah, then I had that shield. Okay, we'll take that. And this is definitely better in every way. The only exception is that the Prophet's Shield has that training thing. But it's fine. I'd rather have a little bit more defense. So where's the next hit spot? <clears throat> Way out here. So we should go to that one first. The one... Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, the one on the right. Let's go ahead and get there. I wonder how much fighting we're going to see on the way. Th Whoops, I just dismounted my horse. That is such an ugly mount that she has, but it, it makes sense lore-wise. Because, you know, Dark Elves are from Morrowind. Uh, or Dunmer from Morrowind. And those creatures are from Morrowind too. And I think lore-wise, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but I think lore-wise, I don't think the Dunmer... Oh god, it's a spider. Ugh, gross. I don't think Dunmer trust mounts. Lore-wise. I could be mistaken, but like I said, definitely correct me down in the comments section. If I'm incorrect on that one. Oh, come on. Well, I'm finally at Grimfield. I know there was a mission here. I want to go to this one first because of the sky shard that's somewhere on Bloodthorn Cult. Oh no, hold on. Stop right there. No one enters. Chief Tasgol's orders. Uh, where did all these zombies come from? Bloodthorn Cult. They're raising zombies all over the graveyard. I'm here to keep the people out until War Chief Tazgal arrives and crushes them all. Aren't you worried about the cult raising an army? Ha! An army? These are Breton zombies. Flimsy little bodies in the ground. They'll die easy. Still, if you feel like slaughtering cultists, I won't stop you. Start with the crypt in the center. I saw a few in there. I'll have a look. You get into trouble, you're on your own. Why is there a Breton graveyard on... Bethnic. Uh, yeah. In this an orc island, I mean, they already explained it to us. Uh, that the orcs invaded, but they want to respect the grave. But let's see what he says. This was a Breton island, hundreds of years ago. War Chief Isgul and the Seamount orcs wiped them out. 
The Seamounts were the fiercest raiders on the sea until we settled here. Uh, what was so special about the Bethnic? Be be that. Steel and stone, how could you ask? High, defensible cliffs, a view of all approaches from the fortress, fertile land for crops. What's not to like? Isgal's wives insisted we settle here, so we did. Why haven't you dealt with the zombies yourself? My orders are to watch them until they try to break out, or until Chief Taskel <laughs> gets here and cuts off their heads. That's all. An orc follows orders, even if they're stupid. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, uh, if you own the island, why leave Breton graveyard intact? We're not savages. We respect the enemy's dead. When an orc dies, he gets a cairn to mark where he fell, weapons atop it. We don't stick our dead in the ground like Bretons. Even so, we won't desecrate their graves. That's cool that, uh, learning about their culture and stuff. So, let's get prepared. This shield still looks kind of flimsy, but it kind of matches better. This little tiny sword, too, with my outfit. It, it is kind of flimsy, though, isn't it? All right, let's grab... Let me see. I guess we could go to this one first. All right, let's go.